So please help me welcome Dr. Congressman and Presidential Candidate Ron Paul. Internet, and there has 
been quite a few in, in Washington, under the United Nations, internationally, who would like to remove this wonderful vehicle for us to communicate. And of course, a few weeks ago, there was a uh, bill on the House and the Senate floor, uh, the uh, Stop Online Piracy Act. <laughs>
service can be arrested for demonstrating even it's just holding a sign up and they can get 10 years for that. You know, there's a uh, statistic out that uh, shows that we have 5% of the population of the world and we have 25% of the world's prisoners. So what does that mean? Does that mean the Americans are bad people? Or does it mean that we have way too many nonsensical laws on the world? Anybody should be 
they will be tried. What about the war criminals after World War II? They, they were at least given a trial. Adolf Eichmann, years later, was arrested and taken to Israel. He was given a trial. But this idea that there's enough power because they so-called a bad person is something that has to be reversed. We cannot ignore it. I've always delighted with the crowds that come out are very numerous, and you know about it. So that means this information is not being kept secret. It is out in the open, and that, once again, emphasizes the fact why we have to keep the Internet free and that we have access to it. But also, uh, this week, the Supreme Court had a ruling, it was five to four uh, ruling, that said that uh, anyone who has been approached by a police officer can be strip searched without probable cause. <laughs> Like you 
open an audience like this is being lackadaisical when it comes to protecting freedom. And that's the good thing. And uh, that has led to a couple things. First, we spent a lot of money, probably three to four trillion dollars. Second, it hasn't done any good whatsoever. Matter of fact, I think the war on drugs is more dangerous than the drugs themselves. Yo 
children or the doctors in the community trying to instruct and show where the danger is. But to say that the main state will solve our problems and let the government and the bureaucrats and the regulators spend $3 trillion in the last 40 years and have no success, it's time to call it off. It's time to call it off.
third stage, they say we're self-destruct. And I'm afraid we're on the verge of that. That is why we must get ready, rather quickly, to know what we're going to put in place, because we don't change the people's attitude. They're not going to replace it with liberty. They're going to say what we need are more tyrants in Washington and more rules and regulations. They're still arguing today that the reason that we had depression as well as this recent recession, we didn't have enough regulations on the economy. Regulating things quite well enough. Yeah, that's 
instead of it would all be if you want to go back to the 19th century, back to the gold standard, back to the 19th century, I'll tell you what, they want to go back to tyranny, and we want to go to the future of liberty as well.
better than ever. And when will this, a lot of people ask, when do you think this is going to be necessary? Well, I consider the foundations of our river east have been severely, if not completely, undermined. Our economic system is tottering because there is no sound foundation, there's no sound currency, there's nothing but death. There's a false trust in our currency that the world will always take our money press money. That will come to an end. And although it has been steady, in the last hundred years, the erosion of the value of our dollar went from one dollar and is worth about two cents compared to 1913. But if you study the history of money, they will destroy the value of money, which generally means the middle class gets wiped out and the wealth is, is, uh, is turned over to a, a, a small class of people, to a minority, to the wealthy. But what, what happens at the end stage is, is the loss of confidence. And we're at that stage. The loss of confidence in the rule of law, the loss of confidence in our own government, the loss of confidence in the money, and then with the breakdown of the monetary system, is a real threat. So this is why I worry at times about the Department of Homeland Security when they go out and buy a half a million bullets to put into their guns. Who are they going to be shooting at is what I'd like to know. Oh, my God. 